hear that fiddle play. We love to hear that Cajun music. Down at the Sando Dome, dancing with our sweethearts, and just letting the good times roll. We know it's God first, and then our family and friends. It's kind of hard to explain. It's just the Louisiana thing. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching, I appreciate it so much. Uh, today's video, we're going jug lining for catfish. Whitco Supplies having a big fish fry, and we're gonna go try to catch the fish. We're gonna feed a, over 100 people. We're gonna, we need at least 35, 40 pounds. We're gonna do a big shrimp and rice. We'll have French fries. Let's go over this jug line, how it's made real quick. Okay, we have a 12 inch piece of one inch PVC pipe capped at both ends. We have two four inch sections of the larger swimming noodles. Okay, on the left side, we have a two foot line with 11 odd hook. On the right side, we have an eight to 10 foot anchor line. Okay, one cool thing about this setup, uh, if you put your noodles to the middle, fish gets it, pulls it down. They both go to the top. You know you've had a bite or you got a fish on the noodle. Okay, to grab the noodles, half inch PVC pipe, it's 10 foot long. Okay, I took a huge nail, drilled a hole, just a little bit smaller diameter than this big nail. Uh, we put it through the hole, put it in a vise, bent the nail, and that's some Gorilla Glue right there. Once that stuff dries, it's not coming off. It doesn't slip, doesn't turn. All right, enough talking. Let's go catch some catfish. All right, we're gonna go ahead and cut the bait up. We're using mullet today. We're gonna cut these in half. This bigger one, I think we can probably get three out of it. All right, we're back this morning. We're going to check the jug lines. Hopefully we'll have a few catfish. Uh, we're in a different boat. This is the boat I think we filmed in last time, but uh, y'all stay tuned. Hopefully we got a few catfish. Okay, we off to a pretty good start. We got two catfish, one garfish, and we see, I think two more over there might have catfish. Y'all stay tuned. Let's see if we can catch these fish. You don't have
the thumbnail, Jack. All right, let's let him go. Go ahead. All right. Oh. They probably all tangled together. Yeah, get the two out the way on the left. Probably that gator getting after you, uh. All right, you ready? Oh. <laughs> all over. Is that a gator? He didn't come up yet. Dead in there. Oh, yeah, that's a gator. It's full in the front. Let me see you. out of him, he'll be fine. Holy cow, that, that gator almost pulled me in. That's a big one.
take that one. Just playing sleeper. Another good one. One. All right, this is the biggest one of the trip right here. The last fish. What you think? 30? 25 maybe? I don't know. That thing's heavy. Look at the ones we got. All big fish. Okay, so we got 16. We're going to feed 100 people with these catfish. Y'all stay tuned for the fish ride. That's one. There's a small ice chest. There's probably only a couple in this one. Another small one. They got a few big ones in there. And a few in there. Fish, this is probably the smallest one right here. Let's go ahead and cut it right here. Put a line here. Got our two pieces right there. 
Okay, for this part, you can see the ribs right here. So what you want to follow the ribs down. And then I'll kind of work it back like this. Okay, now you want to fillet it off the skin and you don't want to go too deep or too close to the skin. That's going to take the red line off. Uh, also, we make sure we get all the red off the meat and we just want the pretty white meat. That's going to be good, clean tasting catfish. We got two left. Well, actually three. I got one up here. Uh, come check the fillets out. That's an ice chest of fillets. Look at this. Here's the stomachs I still got to go through. Got to do this one. All right, so three left and we'll be finished. It's a lot of work cleaning these fish too, but it's worth it. That's meat for a lot of people right here. Some belly meat. And here's the rest of it. Ice down. I'm gonna season it up. I'm gonna go ahead and season the fish. We're probably at 40 pounds of fillets, at least 40 pounds. It might take two cans. I'm gonna just go ahead and season it in the ice chest. It'd just be easier that way. That Okay, we drained all the water out. All right, that's a whole can. Put some Louisiana hot sauce with the fish. I just put it on the scale. This 
hit right there. That's it. You got Willie helping him out. All right, we're gonna fry some fish. Y'all hang around.